Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome to Soul Family Read. This is Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Try to give you the best part of the view for a second before we start. <laughs> Manifestation, spirituality, love, romance, relationships, soulmates, twin flames. I'm a little skeptical on the twin flame, but I try to stay open-minded. And life partners, my favorite. Welcome. The 29th of September. Full on in Leo season. I mean Libra season. I'm using the Gilded Tarot Royale. If anyone is following along. Um, let's see, today, I just kind of wanted to do the general uh, reading, but I just do have in mind, I mean, it's Mercury retrograde, so um, I'll be throwing out, uh, might throw out some astrology, but uh, in terms of the cards, I think some of them rise to Venus. Um, and with this one, I say, like, really any significant, you know, uh, Neptune for me is highly significant, conjunct uh, my Venus in third house. I think it's all about astrology right there. You know, I've noticed with astrology, I try to tell people, like, it's just relationships. If you're that person that out as you are in the world, you just get relationships, like, not just love, but your friends. Like, they say something and you go, well, don't you realize that both of them just broke up recently and da 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 and that they're probably feeling this way and I uh, don't you remember that he lost a job last year and ever since then and then gonna have been good and you know you just get all of how things work together and fit together to get the meaning of that that's the thing that's all this is it's relationships of the Sun to the moon to Saturn to etc uh, and you're just looking at how are they all relating are they were getting along well are they not <laughs> working together well? Excuse me. <coughs> Allergies. <coughs> Dear God. Allergies in paradise. What are you going to do? So, oh, let me get a shuffle. I haven't used this deck in a while. So, let's put some in there. Um, forgive me the allergies. <coughs> Mm, I can't do anything with it. <laughs> I'm working, working, but I'm getting ready to leave here, move to another city up the road a piece. Um, temporary uh, move. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I, one thing I love about my girlfriend is like she gets it, you know, we really talk about things. And I'm telling her like, you know, we need to be like uh, just content and strong and and there's nothing wrong, you know, we're in a wonderful place, and, uh, but be light on our feet, because something's coming for us now, like an opportunity, and um, it's, it's also like, uh, I had to do the walk away on the channel, uh, and I think we're going to see, I, I feel a lot better, in other words, I just worried about it, you let the arrow fly, and just walk away, you're going to hit targets, not, that's manifestation, so I call it the walk away, and I, you know, bear down on these things, you know, you know, I want money, I want money, I want love, I want love. And the universe is like going, oh, you need more lessons about love? Okay, <laughs> you need more lessons about, I can tell. You need more lessons about money? Maybe we're going to throw you some of those. So, uh, the 10th, I want to say, uh, and I'll repeat this probably, of September is huge. Uh, Mars uh, is direct in Libra. And it, ever so much as Mars is inclined to uh, not simply fucking fight, it's in Libra. So um, it might be in the mood to kind of cooperate, you know, and that that can only be good. And it's meeting uh, Mercury in retrograde. As I forget the decrees, uh, I know it's on the tenth, um, and I just uh, also the sun's going to be there, like within a degree on the tenth. So um, let's look for things to happen in. If it's not outward in a relationship with you and another person, I always think of Mercury. When I read a chart, like, I feel like for the first time in my life, I kind of can really understand maybe a little bit how someone is in their own mind space. Because how do we know our own mind space? It's like uh, if we're all in our own little universe, no matter how close you are to someone. But Mercury, if you look at it, how it's related in the house and everything, um, the sign, you can get a feel how, how that might work. So I think it's on the 10th, it's going to be all about that. It's something about relationships. This could be like huge breakthroughs, epiphanies. It doesn't have to be bad. 
Mars can bring an element to it of sexuality, of action, of will, of ego. It could be some better ego. It's probably how it's going to go down, you know. Uh, the first house is me, and the second house is you, someone else. So it's all about that. And um, how do we balance that? How do we look at that? It's, and you'll see that in the chart, too, but that gets complicated. The Fool. I absolutely love it. How perfect is this? So it's kind of being wide open here, I'd say. And, um, oh, you had to do that right now. Uh, it's our water guy, actually. <laughs> This is being completely wide open, and this is where we're at in terms of uh, emotionally, spiritually, where we're hanging at right now. Um, I like to think of the fool, too. I think it's kind of just logical. If you're in the fool, it's zero kana. Well, that means you've recently obtained the world, or you obtained the world. Uh, because unless you're an infant, you know, you could say the fool is an infant, it's being born. You know, you're born, you know, you don't have any preconceived notions yet. You can't do negative, you know, because you don't really think about things like that. You're just like a happy puppy stomping through the world in the full energy. And I love the full energy. I take it day and night. Five of Swords reversed. This is in the crossing position. Now, sometimes when I see like a Five of Swords uh, just reversed, um, I actually can kind of see it as good. Like maybe the ending, you're, you've learned a lesson, you're coming to an ending in terms of or the fight is over with another person, however it plays out. But this is in the crossing position. I just don't know how to read this other than we're still dealing with negative thoughts. I read myself into this reading. I am still dealing with negative thoughts of all kinds. It's like I got to be like on the baseball mound, you know. I try to be chill, but I have the bat there. Because <laughs> when they come, I got to recognize them and I just got to pull them up and, and then replace it with the positive. And more and more trying to recognize where the hell is that negative thought coming from. Um, and I mean, I don't mean helpful thoughts like be careful because there's danger, real actual danger. I mean things that come up in my mind that are really not helpful. It's old stuff. Um, it's like a review for me. I'm trying to look at it like this is like a review. And by reviewing it and kind of understanding where it's come from and then dismissing it and replacing it with how I would like that energy to be with me, but it's going to be, you know, peaceful, basically. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that's how I think that was working out. And it's a challenge. It's a fight for me. It's not easy. Definitely not easy. Wow. Sagittarius card coming up. Temperance. Well, this is the advice from Spirit. And, I mean, the fool starting out where we're at, and the advice from Spirit being temperance. I just got to say, uh, we're going to, we are dealing with this. We're going to deal with this. You know, and temperance is that kind of balance that's on fire. Uh, feeling really good. Feeling like ourselves again. Feeling like, like for me, it's going to be like, I can't even remember when last that happened. Honestly, um, ever since I had this uh, attack and almost died in 2008, it's been like just sort of like a battle. A lot of it was crawling forward. And, um, but this is none of that. This is just feeling good. There's no problems. To, there's no fires to put out. There's no drama. Nobody's doing drama. Like, you're just a fool. And they're like, you know, but you know, Dave, you shouldn't. And you jump off the cliff and you don't hear them anymore. It's just the breeze and you're doing your thing. And they're up there going, that's foolish. It's not going to work. What are you doing? Oh my God, are you okay? Because <laughs> you're the fool. It's just gone. And this is like, this is really nice, being a promise from spirit, really, that uh, this is exactly the way we achieve this temperance balance, by dealing with these negative uh, patterns, thought patterns that plague us, you know? And um, let's see what we got going on for the outcome. Now, this is the outcome card, and I do read the bottom of the deck. I'll show you that later. <laughs> but uh, this is a good uh, bottom of the deck. So, five of wands. Now, we've got the five of swords and the five of wands. These, this is quite different. Well, number one, this is not in the blocking position, so it's not a reversed five of wands. Uh, number two is in the outcome position, and it is the five of wands. And you have to note here, they are practicing um, here, and these are actions. I, I think, like, if you, I just think kind of what I was saying, 
if I have the thought and I recognize it as being not helpful, negative, an old pattern, kind of place it and then uh, tell it to go away and then replace it with kind of uh, how I now want to feel. That replacing of it, how I now want to feel, that's this five of wands because it, it's kind of a struggle, kind of a battle. For me, it's kind of less and less, you know. I started this in uh, 2017 uh, really strongly, like in just taking control of my own mind. Mercury on the IC for me, uh, square Pluto, and my AC, you know, it's my chart ruler. <coughs> um, my mind is like, you know, I don't know how I ever meditated. I'm trying to get back into it. Um, but, you know, it's a busy mind. When you are when you have Mercury on the IC, how you look can read someone's mind, you have a very busy mind. Your mind never shuts the fuck up. And if you tell the mind to shut up and you just want to experience nothingness for a minute, it, the mind will laugh at you. So, I don't know, for me, this is a battle. To, it takes action, recognizing the thoughts, taking action, wands. And with the bottom of the deck being the six of wands, uh, victory, victory. And it's a completely spiritual read. It has nothing to do, you know, with any uh, a romantic partner or really anyone. This is all our, on, in ourselves. And I think that's the best way uh, to look at the Mercury retrograde. Sure, I mean, it could be the things with exes, could be machines breaking down. But if you're spiritual and you're into the growth thing, you know, it's like, it's a, a gold mine, uh, Mercury retrograde. And the 10th of September, I mean, that's got to be, some something's got to pop. Guys, I think it's going to be good. This is a good one. Thank you.